No, it's private. Same. It's There's fine. security here and we're put here for that reason so nobody comes onto site. That's why we're trying to instruct you. So, Mercia Park. Clearly on a cycle path here. And it leads down here, but then there's a fence. So you're actually blocked from using the, the crossing. That's strange, isn't it? But then it would lead down there. But let's just make sure that this is all open and publicly accessible first. Mercia vertical build. So this seems to be some sort of security checkpoint for the whole industrial estate. Quite unusual. So there are footpaths dotted all over the place, but as the footpath goes down here, it's sort of blocked. And I don't know if this pedestrian gate is open or not. Let's have a look. Oh yeah, it's open. So maybe it's not restricted then. I don't know. Let's get the uh, zoom camera out, see what we can see down there. The road just goes as far as the eye can see. We've got uh, Tay Bar security in the vehicle there. There is someone in it. I wonder if we're allowed to walk down there or whether this restriction means anything because there are no signs. There's clearly a restriction for vehicles, but even that isn't very well restricted, is it? Because the barrier is wide open. I don't know. Let's see where this crossing goes down here. So it leads to a turnstile, which then leads to the other walkway, which you can get to from up there. So. Oh, and the turnstile is so uh, freely moving. <laughs> so there's clearly a pedestrian walking up and down there with no restriction. This turnstile clearly has no restriction. So I'm a bit confused. So maybe it's... Excuse me. Are you lost? Just having a look round. Sorry? Just having a look round. You have to go around the other way. This is our public right away. The other one is the other path's public right away. Is that a right away? That the slip road down there. It's not very clear, is it? Well, I don't know. You have to go around around that way, not this side. This is where the loading bays are. Yeah, I'll just stick to the path. It'll be fine. No, no, but you can't walk down there. I can. Sorry. I can. Look, the other one's right of path, the public right of path, not this way. Nah, this will be fine, mate. No, 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 Excuse me. Not understanding. This is a private road, right? The public footpath, right? Where that brown wooden fence is just there. There's a slip road that goes round to the front of the um, offices, right? That's all public access. This is private. Nah, this is all public. This is, mate. No, it's private. Same. It's fine. security here, and we're put here for that reason, so nobody comes onto site. That's why we're trying to instruct you. Well, this gate is open, wide open there, and it's yes, got a footpath coming for the, down. For the construction workers that come in, that are walking through. Yeah, that's, one I, that's what I want to have a look at, the construction. I want to do some filming. What company are you with? I'm just a member of the public. No, well, you can't go in then. You have to get uh, permission from senior executives that are working on site. Can I just right. show you something up here? Yeah, sure. Because it's not very clear to me, and I think you might be wrong. No, we're not wrong, right? Basically, the site's still under construction that hasn't been fully renovated, right? As like, it's not really well signposted for our delivery drivers that are coming. We're still getting different companies coming here, going yeah. to the wrong place. But this side here is all private access because it has access to the warehouse logistics side of the building business. Oh, you mean the goods inwards entrances? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. 
Whereas all this area is like the receptions, is it? Yeah, so basically um, main offices, meetings, interviews, stuff like that happens around the front. Yeah. And then this is warehouse logistics area. Since we've come onto site, we haven't been given no lurks, no nothing just as yet because they're still working in progress with all the stuff that they need to get for... No what? No lurks? Lurks. Lurks? What's that mean? Do you not know what a lock is? No. A lock to lock the gate? A lock? Okay, yes. got you, I got you, I got you. No, I got you. Okay. <laughs> I was there, I was like, thinking, am I saying something wrong? So, that sort of makes sense. Yeah. Do you know how you've got a green gate here yeah. and a lock and the barriers? Yeah. So, I can imagine that might need to be restricted. Yeah. yeah. But say like this path here, I just wanted to show you this path here. Yeah. It goes across there and then goes down there, which is behind well, the this gate. Is, this is the, the fault that we've noticed as well. So basically you've got a, um, a footpath that goes around the entire front side of the building, right? I've not All seen that. All the way around. And then it stops about there, right? I'm like thinking, why didn't they just make it up to the end of the road? But I think you could probably walk on the road, right? And then jump back onto the footpath again. Because my bike's there, right? And yeah. I put it there because I wasn't sure about this area, yeah. but then the open gate. So this crossing there, yeah. then leads down there. Yeah, I can so go down a, there, can yeah, I? It's a one-way system all the way around. If you're on your bike, best to go that way, just in case somebody comes up the opposite way. But when you get round, right, you'll see, it's like just one big massive circle of the site. Okay. And okay. Uh, there's a, a few lakes there that you can take dog walk and stuff. That's like okay. all public access. Okay. That's what my, uh, my colleague was trying to say. Okay, right? so just, just so we're clear. Yeah. I, I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way, right? So I can go across this footpath here on yeah. my bike and then down there, yeah? yeah? And down there, and you'll okay. see the footpath on the left-hand side. Okay. Just take you all the way around, okay? That sounds sensible, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, my friend. I, no, 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 look. Because you know, I went through the turnstile and yeah. then I was there. But you know what it is, right? We've literally, we, we just came here in July and we were given empty office. We didn't even have a microwave in right. there, right? So literally the, the whole site's still getting done. This unit's empty at the moment. Is it? Yeah, they're um, looking for somebody to take it uh, on lease. You, the middle unit, end unit, and this one on the far right belongs to Jaguar Land Rover. Yep, that's the one. The building's all completely finished, but the interior work ain't done yet. They're still doing a fit out inside, so they're hoping this one will be finished around about March. That one probably be finished around about June. Right. right. And then it'll be fully, fully operational. So them two are Unipart, are they? And the last one is Unipart on the left-hand side. All oh, right, so Unipart is different from JLR. Well, to be honest, right, I think they're working together, but yeah. it's a separate company. Okay. And um, okay. they've been given the unit that's on the far left-hand side, and then the unit opposite, that's also empty as well. They're finding someone for that one. But we've got quite a lot of construction workers coming in. Some of the guys, they park the cars around and decide to walk around just to get some steps in, right? So that's why the access is open, right? And then they've got us here. Right, making sure that nobody's coming on site that's not supposed to. So if you get approval by one of the managers around the site um, at Windwick Construction or from JLR themselves, they'll send us an email and then we can let you onto site, no problem. Yeah, no. Oh. I don't want to come into any yeah. restricted areas. Yeah. I just want to remain on public because yeah. I'm going to fly a drone, you see, yeah. and I do all my stuff on public land. Okay, so what is it for you do, if you don't mind me Just asking? YouTube. YouTube, okay. Um, we've got one approved contractor that comes on site he has to get permission between, from Windvik Construction and JLR to fly a drone on yeah, right? So if you were to bring a drone, right, you'd have to get permission. Not from public. Yeah, he this, see, this, this, this is the grey area, right, that I'm not 100% sure about. And I'm just being honest, right, because um, we, we, we had a dispute with the chap that was doing work on there. Because he was doing part of work on the projects, it wasn't a problem. But again, because he got public access, I don't really see a problem either. Yeah, yeah. But it's something that we'll have to get ironed out. But they did say that it's, no one's allowed to fly a drawer around here. Yeah, right. they can't launch yeah. from private land. So that's why I always make sure I'm on public land. So I like to stick to the footpaths. Yeah. So thanks for the clarification. Yeah, I mean, I'll like jump you, on my bike and yeah. I'll, uh, I'll have a look around. Yeah, I've got a feeling if you were to fly a drone and walk around on the footpath, right, I can't really say nothing to you. I, but I don't understand the law on that side either. So Well, I do, uh, yeah. so yeah. 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 But um, good luck to you. Yeah, thank All you, right, my no friend. Thank you. Care. There we go. But we've had confirmation we can go down this way. This is a public footpath despite him saying to me it's not the first guy so let's go and have a look around even when he said it's a one-way system obviously that's for the road but he actually asked me to go around the other way in case i bump into anyone what the hell are you serious it's deserted yeah. 
and then we've come to some sort of back gate of one of the units. And this looks like the, um, the opposite end of that road where we were talking to the other guys. I'll stay outside this time, now we know, but if we look far enough up there, we can see where we started. And that car sitting there like it was before. So around this area, we've just got lots of planting going on, making the uh, landscape look nice. A load of bark there and some trees that are being planted just over there. And then as we get around to this corner, we can see some security measures that they've got in place. One of these mobile CCTV camera stations. Because as you can see just there, the camera will move. There we go, look, it's moving to the left. We can even see who the camera's made by, look. Security patrolling, once again. So yeah, an amazing sight this is. Very, very fresh. Lots of new trees being planted everywhere. Lots of footpaths for you to have your little wonders on your break. Lots of pond areas for the wildlife. And even the site offices look luxury with a, an outdoor seating area up the top with hanging baskets. So we'll just nip in, we'll step over there. We'll just let them know that we're gonna be doing some drone flying for the next 10 minutes and take it from there. Hiya. I spoke, I spoke to security about 10 minutes ago just to let them know I'm doing some filming. I'm just going to fly the drone over and make a video. So I'm just going to be on the public footpath out there doing it, alright? Right, um, you just here for yourself? Yeah, just for YouTube. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. Okay, thank you. Just, so that's probably right away out there. Yeah, I'll launch from there. Okay, thank you. No there we go. He knows the score. If you're doing this type of activity just for yourself, as a hobby, for something like YouTube, no problem. It clarified where the public land was, and that's it. So as always, we've checked on drone assist. There are no flight restrictions in this area at all. So Winvic, Mercia Park. We know your offices are very nice. And they called that a viewing area, just there. The staff know exactly what they're doing inside that building, that's for sure. I was a bit unsure about security at first because he was trying to say that the whole area is private, which it can't possibly be. The lack of signage and how wide open it all is. But then the second security guard showed signs of being reasonable, so we can work with people like that. So, down there, some sort of, is it a power station of some sort, don't know. But the future access gate are leading on. Grounds are very, very nice, look. Ponds, paths, seating areas. The wind is quite strong, so I'm not gonna go too high. But you saw the road that we came around this way on. That goes all the way around the outside. And there's a road going through the middle, which leads to all the rear HGV entrances, as they said. And that's the areas that they're restricting access to. So yeah, strong wind warning now at that high. So we'll just go through this middle bit here. I can still see the drone through there. And we'll just have a look left and right at the end. So this is that road that they're trying to protect. 
and restrict movement down. This might be the new way of doing things. Only vehicles that need access to these back areas can get access. Let's get nice and high, get that 360 degree shot for Google Maps and move on. And that concludes the video from here at Mercia Park in swaddling coat, a DE12 postcode. As you know, things were unclear. We walked down there, we spoke to the guy in security. One of them says we're not allowed to be even on that side. But the other one started to be a bit more reasonable, so we heard him out. You know, while sites like this are under construction, signage is not going to be the best, is it? So we took the drone up, had a quick look round, nothing of major interest. Very professional in the building site office. Mr. Site Agent there, five stars to you. So the location of the key ring with the gatehouse behind you there, behind this uh, sign on that tree, just stuck in the hole there, look, the DJ audits key ring. So if you are one of the first people to watch this video, you're nearby and you do want a key ring, that's where it is. So from Mercia Park here in Swaddling Coat, if you have enjoyed that video, give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you in the next one. Got all the mud coming up from now. What a shame, eh? Lovely clean road and you've got a works vehicle. Messing the old place up.